All right, what is up guys? It has been, God, probably a month or so since the last clip was taken. Um, and a lot has changed since the last upload in general. Um, for starters, we went to Riverside Chattanooga. It was a fantastic event. Had an amazing time with met a whole bunch of people. You know, it was amazing. On the way back, the transmission of my Yukon gave out, so we were stranded. Um, ended up getting everything taken care of with that. Uh, I now have an 05 Suburban. I'll show you guys that later, but you know, it's a lot more fun to drive. Um, as well as since then, I had to daily drive the Skyline for about a month or so. In the process of that, I blew three tires, um, had my clutch slave go out, and just more damage to the front bumper, but it is what it is on that. But today's video is going to be this right here. I have a whole, we'll call it DIY wrap kit for the Skyline to put on. I'm going to do a half camo wrap on it. Um, my, my sponsor, Top Label, they sent me a kit to be able to test a new product, so I'm gonna go throw it on today. So let's go downstairs, uh, we'll get the skyline all started up. It's gonna be a nice cold start because it's gonna start in over a week. Um, we're gonna pull up the hill and we're gonna get everything started. things we're going to give you guys a walk around in the Suburban. So here it is, my 05 Chevy Suburban. Um, as you can see, I've already swapped the wheels and tires over from the Yukon onto it because I like the aggressive poke and I think it looks better on this thing personally. Um, not much to it, you know, still same generation as the Yukon was. But my personal favorite is the cloth interior. Now everyone's like, oh, leather's better. Now, I, I prefer cloth, and the fucking interior is, dude, it's mint. I mean, it's dirty because I used it already, but it, it's mint. But, yeah, this is the, this is the new daily, and I absolutely fucking love it. So, but yeah, let's get the skyline pulled up the hill, and we'll get started. Okay, first things first, we have to wash the car because it's been sitting in the pollen for, you know, weeks. Um, so yeah, let's get that done real quick. I'm only gonna wipe down half the car because all I'm doing is half the car, but let's get to it. Okay. Now that we have the car clean, and don't judge me on how I cleaned it, it's just a dirty rag and some window cleaner that I laid around, because I don't care about it being clean, I just need to be no pollen on it so I can put the vinyl down properly. But first thing we have to do is use these to mark up the halfway point on the car so I don't you know, overlap or do anything else like that. But let's get started. Now comes the fun part, lighting center strike. Don't 
the retrospect, I probably should take this plate off, but, you know. Okay, well, it's not perfect by any means because, you know, it's electrical tape and I don't give a shit, but we're ignoring the roof. It is, it is centered for the most part, at least. I'll figure what out later, but all right, next part. And that stuff put on, so I'll throw you on a time lapse and we'll get it put on. I don't know how well it's going to work because the fucking wind is fighting against me. Yeah, so I stopped, you know, filming for a few minutes. Uh, it It's looking okay. I like how it came out. The vinyl's coming out like shit because of the wind, the pollen. Every time I went to go put a piece of vinyl on, the wind would pick it up and twist it one way or a piece of dirt would get under it, you know, so it's not perfect by any means. But so far, it's coming along pretty good. Um, I'll update you guys as soon as it's done, but it's about 75% there. So I'll give you all a... Uh, Give y'all a little sneak peek. So, uh, yeah, that's all you're seeing for now. But I'll pick it up in a minute. All right, well, the wrap is done. Um, it Obviously, it's not going to be perfect because I've never done this before. Um, there's a lot of imperfections. There's a lot of mismatched areas. There's a lot of overlaps. But at the end of the day, it's a camo wrap that I paid, you know, next to nothing for. I enjoyed this whole thing. Um, I think it looks pretty good for a DIY kit. Um, but before I reveal it to you guys, let me go ahead and head over to the spot that I like going to do, take some photos, and I'll do a proper reveal there. All right, I'm at the spot. The spot I like coming to all the time, you know, it's very secluded. It's like a dead end road. Only popular place for jogging, really, but not a lot of cars, so I can park out in the middle of the road and not have to worry about it. Anyways, the car is done. It looks amazing out in the sunlight. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all. Here's, uh, here's the final product. wraps up everything. I mean, I love how the car came out. I, have, I would hope you guys do too. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Tell us how it looks. Um, see what I could improve. Any tips, tricks, anything else like that. Um, otherwise, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, leave a like. Like I said, leave a comment. If you guys love what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I don't know when I'm going to upload next, but I try and get out as much as I can when I can. Um, otherwise, I will catch you guys around. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.